To write the name for MN3P4, we first need to recognize that manganese, that's a metal. It's a transition metal. We have phosphorus, this nonmetal. We use these rules to write the name for MN3P4. First, we write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. MN, that's manganese. Then we write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table, lowercase p for phosphorus. And then we replace the ending, this O-R-O-U-S, with I-D-E. And so far, we have manganese phosphide as the name for MN3P4. But manganese is a transition metal, so we need to write the charge in the name. We know that the phosphide ion is 3 minus. It comes from phosphorus in group 15, sometimes called 5A. So it's 3 minus, and we have 4 of them. 4 times 3 minus is 12 minus. So we need a 12 plus over here for the charges to add up to 0, give us a net charge of 0. 3 times 4 plus, that would give us the 12 plus, and then these would add up to 0, give us a net charge of 0. And we'd write this 4 as a Roman numeral right here in the name, put parentheses. So the name for MN3P4 is manganese 4 phosphide. If you were given this name and asked to write the formula, you'd know the manganese would have to be 4 plus because of this Roman numeral 4 here in the name. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.